Hello and welcome to the Nitty Kitties channel. I'm Any Art Nitty. Now I got a comment on the sewing, well the second video I did about the sewing machine, the U10 2685A and it was a little a lady called Denise that she's had this machine as a gift. She's used it twice so it's brand new out of the box nearly. At the moment she's having, she's making some arm covers for a sofa and the machine stopped and beeped and LO came up on the digital screen so she's completely cleaned it and everything and still saying LO she filled she did basically everything she could I've put the let the comment on the screen there but it's still not working so I'm gonna go through some common troubleshooting with you and Obviously, I'm going to pick up on some things that Denise has already done, but it might help someone else, and there might be something which you see, which you're like, ah, I haven't done that. So I'm going to go through everything, even stuff that has maybe been picked up on in that comment. So, hello has come up on that digital screen there. I've took the reel off, and I'm going to start completely from scratch. So the first thing to do if LO does come up is to turn it off, take the plug out, take the pedal out and leave it for 15 minutes to have basically a snooze, yeah? So leave it for 15 minutes and then start taking out the bobbin thread and taking out the top reel as well. So we're going to have a look in our little toolkit here. And I want you to take out the little screwdriver which is included there we go just a closer look at that now I've tried to get this the images as clear as possible on my camera so that we can see everything and in case I miss saying something you might look and say ah there we go that's it so starting from the beginning all the electric is off on it and everything it's been completely unplugged everything has come out it's just you and the machine and we're taking off that plate there it's two screws and they are very tiny and they're not machine fitted on so they do come off really easily lefty loosey righty tighty that's the rule here <laughs> So take those two screws off and keep them somewhere where you know you'll find them. Don't lose them, whatever you do, okay? So keep them somewhere safe. So that's what it should look like. Now, if you are getting this LO message, maybe there's some cotton or a bit of thread which is stuck on that. So make sure you give that a clean just like Denise did she said she's cleaned it and everything but maybe if you're watching this you've had the same thing and that might be a step that you've missed next we're gonna go into the bobbin there now there is some machines which it's different it's in a different position than this this is a drop-in bobbin now you might have a machine where the bobbin looks completely different from that and you can lift it out but with this one you don't we're just going to have a good clean there any bits of debris dust thread and anything like that we're gonna have a look you don't have to pick anything out or anything just have a good clean get a flashlight on it as well get a torch on it just to make sure you haven't missed a little bit of cotton or something which is caught so that's cleaned we've got that out of the way so yeah i've put a picture here of what sometimes a bobbin will look like so that's done there no debris no nothing we know that that's absolutely fine so we're going to put this plate back on make sure it's on the right way that's the wrong way you want that way facing up now 
Now another thing to check as well with your bobbin threads before you put that back in is is there any nicks along the bobbin the spock is it called but if you look not spock as in star trek but if you look and see if there's any nicks on that little bobbin there and if so there is some in that little toolkit there that you can replace that with it might just be a case of that so here we go we're going to make sure that that bobbin drops in the right way so if you look it's going anti-clockwise there and coming out so I'll show you exactly how I do that and it is an, an easier one because it's just a drop in bobbin but you've got to make sure you've got that notch on the right way and you put it in so the thread is going to be going anti-clockwise if anybody has got any queries or anything that you want any help with please do join my group any art netty and the nitty kitties on facebook i might be able to get to you that bit quicker now if i haven't got the answer i'll try and steer you in the right direction okay so make sure that notch is on the left there and we're just going to pop that on i have to put the camera down because <laughs> i was trying to do it one-handed so apologies about that but see that cotton thread that's going to go on the top of that notch make sure that happens that might be an important step so see what i'm doing there just in case that might be something that's being missed out again i'm trying to do that one-handed but as long as that cotton is on the top of that notch okay and then you're going to pop that cover back on so please do forgive me i was trying to do that one-handed but it should just really easy pop on there and that thread then put that to the back of the machine i'm trying my best to get everything in that view so it's as clear as it can be now another thing if none of this is working is to change the needle because it might just need a brand new needle it might have broken or something like that so i'm going to put that spool on now on the top and make sure the thread is passing underneath that reel okay so that should be going that way you see the direction it's going so we're going to follow the directions on the machine so the thread is going to go around that number one there again i'm trying to do it one-handed so around there and through there see the gap in the machine there down number two there through that gap and i'm gonna go down here down yeah so it might just be a case of that you need a thicker needle isn't the actual threader here on the machine see 
see the arrow is going towards you there if you got the front of the sewing machine we are going to turn that always turn it in that direction not the other way unless you need to but for this specific thing and give that a turn while you're holding on to the threads at the back of the machine now that's very important because you need that tension if you don't do that that's a reason why the yellow might be coming up so that's given the correct tension there for both of the threads at the exact same time that important step there is to hold both of the two threads now i've given i've done it in two different colors i should have done something other than white but keep hold of them at the back and hopefully hopefully that will be what's missing now you've give it 15 minutes it's cooled down it's had its snooze and everything like that now i can believe how frustrating this is you're watching other people and their sewing machines are going like billy oh and yours is like well my, why is mine not working hopefully something there we've caught up on something i've missed out and that you've seen and we got ah that's it so so frustrating though i completely understand anyone that's having any trouble with it so i'm just going to type in which number i want obviously if it's a thicker material you need a thicker needle so that might be the case it might be that the needle just can't cope with it and it's too thin and there is some spare needles in that little kit so i'm just going to pop this right it's just a scrap piece of material i had and i'm gonna test it because mine came up hello as well <laughs> hello not that kind it's not hello it's l letters l and o so i'm gonna do a test just to make sure that it's coming on and it's going like the clappers again so it might have been something silly or left. it's not silly there is some mechanics to this so you know it's it's good to find it and fix it and break it down i think well what have i missed out there and hopefully somewhere along the line there we found the problem another thing as well is to always make sure when you're threading and everything like that that the needle is in the highest position and also that you haven't put it in reverse as well make sure you haven't put it in reverse so i'm just going to snip that extra off and then make sure after that that the thread is facing the back again so it doesn't get caught up in the machine I'm just going to turn that off and I've finished now so you can see well I've used white that that's on the back and the brown is on the front so it should be the two different colours shouldn't be on the same you can change your tension if it is that's not a problem at all thank you for watching I hope that's helped with any troubles and troubleshooted anything and you've got your machine working again if not have a chat with me in the group and I'll be more than happy to help or point you in the right direction. So that will come up on the screen now again on a banner. I look forward to hearing from you if I can help in any way. <laughs> so thank you, bye for now and see you again soon.